Hi guys, welcome back. 0800 62847. Don't forget to dial if you have any issues with your mathematics. We can help you with those issues right here live between 5 and 6. We're going to look at some really difficult trig equations now. In the last, we're going to end off with the trig equations. If we um, don't get to complete them in their totality, we at least give you enough guidance for you to go and try them, and then maybe on another evening we'll do them in their total form. If you look at the screen, there's the first one. The question says, find the value of P, or find a value of P, for which sine squared 2P minus 1 plus cos squared 1 minus 3P equals 1. This would be a difficult question only because, difficult higher grade question, only because you're not used to questions like this. But what you need to do is you need to apply the well-known identity. You need to apply the well-known identity to this question. Question asks for you to find a value of P, which makes this true. And if you look at this, you've got sine squared plus cos squared equal to 1. Very carefully, we can see that in the identity sine squared theta plus cos squared theta, those two angles must be the same. So if we say sine squared 20 degrees plus cos squared 20 degrees, because those two angles are the same, we can conclude that sine squared 20 plus cos squared 20 is 1. If, however, we have sine squared 20 and then we have cos squared something else, let's say 75, that's not necessarily going to be 1. So this question, which I'm going to highlight for you, which is a lovely question, I think. Nice grade 11 and grade 12, higher grade trick question. If you look carefully, what is this question about? It's about sine squared of some angle plus cos squared of some other angle equal to 1. We are familiar with the identity. Every single one of you knows that sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is 1. If you've done trigonometry, this identity is so given to you so many times that you know what it is. What you need to do is you need to be able to answer this question. You need to be thinking about that identity. When is sine squared plus cos squared equal to 1? Because the question tells me that this expression on the left is 1. From the identity this expression on the left will be 1 when the angles are both the or are when the angles are the same so to answer this question all we have to do is we simply say if this is 1 then that angle 2p minus 1 and that angle 1 minus 3p they must be the same and where does, what happens to the sine and the cos? They all disappear because the thinking is behind the identity. Sine squared of an angle plus cos squared of the exact same angle, that will give you 1. So if you go back to the original question, the question says this is true. Sine squared of this angle plus cos squared of 1 minus 3p is 1. Now what? Give me a value of p for which this will work. Well, this will work when this part is exactly the same as this part here. And to answer the question, that's all you have to do. You have to say 2p minus 1 is 1 minus 3p. You bring the 3p over, you get 5p equals 2. And so p is equal to 2 fifths. We can check our answer because if we go sine squared 2 lots of 2 fifths minus 1 plus cos squared 
1 minus 3 lots of 2 fifths, what we're going to find is that we're going to get exactly the same answer over here for this angle and that angle. We find we get minus a fifth. If we work this out, 2 times 2 fifths is 4 fifths minus 2. 4 fifths minus 2 is not minus a fifth, is minus 1 and a fifth. 4 fifths minus 2 is minus 1 and a fifth. And here, 1 minus 6 fifths gives you um, minus 1 and a fifth as well. And because these two angles are now the same, we can conclude that that is 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to say sine squared, there's the question, sine squared 2p minus 1 plus cos squared 1 minus 3p is 1. All you have to do is recognize that you would use the identity. Hence, you would say 2p minus 1 is 1 minus 3p and solve it. And you get, you solve it, it's a simple linear equation um, which comes to p is 2 fifths. So there you have it, one last trick question to end of the day. It's a nice different question. You're not going to see too many of those in the past papers. And so take note of it, put a big NB next to it, and watch out. You never know what may come up at the end of the year. Good luck.